Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. If you're watching my Facebook Live, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching afterwards on Facebook, I appreciate that too. And also those of you who watch me on YouTube, thank you so much. I've got a few people popping in now. We had some technical difficulties. Facebook can be a very fickle little thing. And when I went to go live a couple minutes ago, um, my screen was the wrong way. So I was coming up sideways. <laughs> so I turned my phone off and started again. There's not much you can do about it, but that is the nature of live. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Chrissy. Sheila, welcome. I'm going to get myself set up on my laptop so I can see your comments once, once I flip my phone around. I've got some awesome projects for you tonight. I've got a beautiful fall card. I've got some um, Halloween uh, treat favors that are really easy. You're going to love them. And um, some other things to show you. So I'm super excited. Hi, Lori. Hi, Angela. Elaine, welcome. Rhonda, thank you for tuning in. Okay, let me get myself set up here. And there I am. And I am the right way. <laughs> Yay. I hope you guys had a, right, Linda, thank you. Linda says I look much better right side up. Yeah. I don't know why that happens. I did not have my phone the wrong way. I was holding it like this, and it just is what it is. We just have to deal with the little bumps in the road, right? Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Angela. Suzette, welcome. Arliss, glad you're here. Thanks, you guys, for showing me the love. I don't get too rattled about this anymore, but when I first started doing lives and things didn't go right, it was like, oh, but now it's like, meh, you know, it is what it is. Hi, Lisa, Brenda, glad you could tune in. Lori, thank you. You guys let me know where you're coming from. Um, hi, Rhonda, Sarah. Um, you need to leave a comment. I give away prizes based on the comments. I do a drawing from the comments. And if you don't comment in some way, shape, or form, you're not going to know. Hi, Judy. Judy says, thanks for answering my questions. You are very welcome. Um, if anybody else emailed me over the weekend, I was up north. And um, I don't have good internet there. So I have not answered emails yet. I got in this afternoon. And uh, I'll tell you what, getting up at... 4.45 in the morning is rough on this girl. <laughs> so I got home and took a nap. And then I took a shower so I didn't look like uh, a dirty old bear hunter. <laughs> it, was, um, it was a fun weekend. We had a good time. I was there by myself. My mom and my daughter usually go with me. And um, Haley had to do a brat fry fundraiser this weekend for her class. And my mom had her class reunion, so I went up by myself on Thursday evening and got to hunt Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that was fun. And, um, yeah, so when I have to ride with somebody else, like I'm not going to drive a truck all by myself. That just doesn't make sense. But I, I rode with one of our um, my hunting buddies. And um, it's always tricky when you ride in somebody else's truck because I like to have all my stuff. Like I have a full-size cooler in the back and I have a box of my food and snacks and all that stuff. And then if I get cold, I got, you know, some extra socks or whatever. So it was a little tricky. And we usually don't get up till like 6 o'clock because we don't have to go check baits. But when I ride with somebody who does have to check baits, I had to get up at 5.45 and, um, ouch. No, 4.45. Ouch. Yeah. Um, so I was really tired. Yeah, thanks, Linda. It's good to see you. Um, your message right set up, too, because that wasn't coming back either properly. All right, you guys, I am going to, let's see, I have some um, little announcements to make. Let me plug in my phone. Hi, Leanne from Kansas and Josie from New Zealand. Welcome. Sue from Keele, Wisconsin. Glad to have you here. Yeah, Linda loves the PTA type events. Go Haley. I guess they raised like $1,000 and it's um, money to be used towards field trips to um, um, lower the cost that each student has to pay. So it's a really good cause. So that was fun. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, you guys. So my husband has this app on his iPad that is current breaking news in our area. And Thursday, he's hollers in from the living room and says, Haley's school is on a lockdown. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Heather. Um, 
And yeah, her school was locked down because apparently they went to arrest some guy in that area and he ran from the police and was near her school. And she said she looked up and there was police officers running by the door with, or by the windows with rifles outside. So that's a little scary, right? Oh, nothing happened. The kids were freaked out, of course. I think she was probably a little freaked out too, but she handled it well. They sat down in a corner and read books, locked the door, turned off the lights. They have their whole procedure they have to go through. So yeah, it was a little scary on this end because we didn't know what was going on, right? Ugh. And her school's in a nice, it's in a nice neighborhood. So it's not like um, she's in a downtown, you know, kind of a sketchy area, I guess. It's, the way I'd put it. Anyways, everything was fine. Don't worry. Um, yeah, Haley is doing well with her teaching. She's, you know, she's getting used to her students now, and I get to hear some fun stories. And um, I think she's going to have a great year, Brenda. Thank you for asking. By the way, if you guys don't know, if you're new tonight, um, she's teaching fifth, sixth grade split, they call it. So she has fifth and sixth graders. So um, it should be exciting. And uh, Linda just popped up with an announcement that she mentioned. Um, our paper pumpkin kit, which I'm going to be showing you tonight at midnight, the refills. And if you didn't order paper pumpkin and you become a subscriber, you can order the September kit, which Stampin' Up! has never really done before. They always sell um, refills for the kits, but they've never, I don't think they've ever offered it up for sale if you didn't subscribe by the 10th of the month. So I'll be showing you the paper pumpkin in just a few minutes. Thank you, Linda, for bringing that up. Jenny says she loves her kit. I do too. I'm going to be probably working on mine after my live tonight. And um, <laughs> thanks, Lisa. Lisa says your live is so cool. <laughs> I think that's the cool emoji, right? Um, I am going to be working on my paper pumpkin because for my subscribers, I create or I send them a PDF file with all the instructions and pictures for, yes, Linda, I'm plugged in. Thank you, though, for um, seven to eight alternate ideas using the kit. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Please make sure you're sharing my video. Um, sharing is caring. I appreciate your shares. That gets my videos out to more people and it lets me continue to do my job that I love. And boo to you too, Andrea. Okay, um, I think I didn't tell you guys this last week because I had some technical difficulties and I was a tiny bit stressed over that. Did I tell you guys that I hit my $700,000 career milestone in sales? Woohoo! That is a big milestone to hit, and I was super, super excited. Um, and Mary Olson, if you're watching, your order pushed me over the $700,000 mile, or the $700,000 marker. So thank you for that. Thanks, you guys, for showing me the love. Um, it was pretty exciting. And so what happens with um, a $700,000 milestone? Well, Stampin' Up! Um, recognizes us at $100,000 increments. So at $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, so on and so forth. And each time we hit one of those milestones, we get a $1,000 bonus. I know, right? I don't know what I'm going to do with mine. I usually just, you know, pay bills. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I might think of something special. Not sure yet. I can't really think of anything that I need other than a new vehicle. I told you guys a while ago that I smashed the side of my truck up and it's a little embarrassing to drive. <laughs> so, And I was planning on driving it into the ground. It's old, it's not worth fixing, and it still runs great. So I don't know. But anyways, I hit 700,000 and this is something really funny that happened. Um, my husband, I, you know, I got my new office done and I'm, I'm loving that. Like I can't even tell you how much I love my new office. And um, my husband came up to my door and he just stood there looking at me and I kind of looked at him like, what's going on? And he said, um, well, look at this new office. It's so 700,000-ish. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, so that was a big thing that happened and I forgot to tell you guys last week. Um, then I have some more um, exciting news. Who is familiar with the Rooted in Nature bundle from the annual catalog? Yeah, 
it's a doozy. And I just released an online class using this bundle. So in case you're not familiar with it, here it is. Let me see, I'm kind of backwards, so this is tricky for me. Here is the stamp set. It's so big that it comes in two cases. It is absolutely gorgeous. There are 16 different stamps in here. It also comes with a set of dies, and in these dies are some images, hang on, I'm gonna pull this out, that emboss. Here we go. These just emboss. And then there's another image that will cut this leaf out. But there's a couple different, whoops, here's another one. This one embosses also. And then this one embosses. So it's a really, really cool stamp set. Let me get this stuff put back in the envelope here before I lose it. And it comes with a ton of um, dies also. Now, my online class has two options. Well, actually three. Let me tell you about them. So you can order the stamp set along with the framelits. The Matching Nature's Twine that is part of the Rooted in Nature Suite. The Trinkets. Let me show those to you. These are the trinkets. You get several different leaves um, in copper. Whoops. This is so backwards. I'm mirroring my image so it's tricky. Um, copper and silver. There's individual leaves and then the leaves with three on them. These are really cool. And also the... Oh, this is like kind of washed out because I've got the light on on my Facebook Live. But this gorgeous, gorgeous fall paper. It is just beautiful. This is called Nature's Poem Designer Series Paper. You get two of each sheet double-sided design for a total of 12 sheets of 12 by 12. Now, you can order the stamp set, the framelits, the twine, the trinkets, and the paper and I will give you my online class for free. Or you can order the online class from me for $20. Or if you are a member of my team, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper, all my online classes valued at $20 or less are yours free as long as you've placed a demonstrator order once you join my team. So three different ways to get the online class. You will find all the information for the online class um, in on my blog, www.astampabove.com, and just scroll down and you'll see the Rooted in Nature online class um, graphic. And somebody just asked me, what are the sizes of my sample packets here? These are three by six. And then I just put a piece of cardstock over and a label. That gives me all the information about them. I have a whole stack of these in all of our designer series paper, and I take these to all of my classes and have them at my monthly card buffet. And then I always show them in my video so that I don't have to pull out the huge pack. That's a little demonstrator tip. So there you go. That's my online class. And next, I wanted to talk to you about some of the projects that I sh um, had on my blog this week. This is the Country Home stamp set and designer series paper. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. There's a video on my blog showing exactly how I made this. I absolutely love this stamp set. And it is in the um, holiday mini catalog. And then also, this card is made with the Rooted in Nature um, bundle. And this was my video on Friday. So make sure you subscribe to my blog. Um, in the right-hand column, there's a place for you to enter your email address and you hit the subscribe button. Then you'll get an email that you need to open and confirm your subscription. And um, then you won't miss any of these things. But this is a really cool technique where I stamped the image and then right away took my aqua painter and just colored on it with water and it blends the color, so it's a really cool um, technique. But there's a video showing you exactly how to do this on the page with my online class information. You can also allow me to order the kit for you if you fill out the form. Um, I will order all the products for you. I will send you a PayPal invoice and you just pay it. So 
any way you want to do it. If you order the products yourself, you have to order all of them. Um, the stamp set, the framelits, the trinkets, the designer series paper, and the twine. And then email me and say, Kelly, I ordered all this stuff and I'll send you that class for free. Each class, or um, each card, there are eight cards plus a bonus bonus card for nine cards. Each card has its own private video showing you exactly how to make it. And then you get a PDF file with the link in there to that video and also um, some brief instructions that are typed up with the measurements. And these are cards that you will not see anyplace else. I do not post them on any social media. They're not on Pinterest. They're not on my blog. Um, they're kept private for my online class people. So there we go. Um, next, I have some cards that I got this week that I wanted to share with you. And this one comes from Mary Lynn Weller. If you recall, Mary Lynn won one of the drawings from last week. So isn't this pretty? Look at this. This is a fun fold. And I love her triple ribbon here. I thought that was so cool. And here's what Mary Lynn had to say. Thanks for all you do. You're the best. <laughs> A Stamp Above Facebook Live Prize Patrol Deliver. Love the goodies. Perfect timing for autumn Thanksgiving cards. Again, thank you. Hugs, Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn is from Port Angeles, Washington. So thank you, Mary Lynn. I love this card. It's very pretty. And then I received a swap card in the mail from one of my team members. And this comes to me from Patty Skiba, and I just had to share it with you. It's using the um, Cauldron Bubble Bundle for this cute fun fold witch card. And isn't that adorable? I have not even used these yet. Um, the spider webs are part of the framelits that come with this bundle. So I just thought, whoops, let me get my finger off there. I just thought this was just adorable. Yay, Gilmore has three of my online classes on her wish list. Good for you. Thank you so much. Okay, don't forget to share my video. Don't forget to comment where you're coming from because um, I need to enter you in the drawing to win stuff. And now I'm going to tell you who the winners are from last week. I have um, Sally Stevens is going to get some of these enamel dots. These are so fun to add to your cards. They're kind of flat and they're self-adhesive. And Sally Stevens, I do not know where she is from. So, um, Sally, if you're watching, you need to instant message me your address so I can get these in the mail to you. And that was for her comment that she left um, on last week's video. And then next I have C. Benward. And she is from Coos Bay, Oregon. And C wins the corrugated dynamic embossing folder for sharing my video. So thank you very much. Please get in touch with me also. I need your address. Thanks, Lisa. Lisa says she loves the one that I sent her. So you are very welcome. And then for placing orders, the third drawing winner is Jan Carstensen, and Jan is from Tomahawk, Wisconsin. She's going to get this country home stamp set, and I know Janie is just going to love this. So thank you so much for your order, your shares, leaving comments. Everything helps me, and I really do appreciate that. I had like a huge week last week. I had a lot of orders coming in, so that was just, mm, I'm truly blessed by that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Mary, I talked about you earlier in the video. Mary Olson just popped in. And Mary, you're the one that pushed me over my $700,000 career-to-date sales milestone. Your order pushed me over. So thank you very much, Mary. Woohoo! Okay, what else did I want to talk to you about? Um, this week on my blog, I have... Um, Two blog hops. Thursday is going to be the Paper Pumpkin blog hop. And make sure you tune in for that because everybody in that blog hop is going to take the adorable Paper Pumpkin kit, make something other than what they show you how to make in the kit, and then also a 3D item, a card and a 3D item, or a scrapbook page and a 3D item. So you'll want to check back on Thursday. Make sure you subscribe to my blog so you don't miss that. It's a lot of fun to see all the creative ideas using the same products. I just think that's so fun. And then 
On Friday, I am part of the Totally Techniques Global Blog Hop, and we have one person from each country that Stampin' Up! is in that participates in this blog hop, and our technique for Friday is Faux Torin Edge. So I'll be working on that this week. I can't wait to see what I come up with, right? But um, it's a really fun technique, and it's easy, and it's especially fabulous for beginning stampers who don't have a lot of product or card stock because you can do some amazing things with that phone torn, torn edge. <laughs> My husband just said, quiet down, I can't hear the TV. You turn the TV up and never mind, mister. We have important stuff to do in here. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Don't forget, I have a VIP online club. You place a minimum $25 order each month in my um, online store. You do that for six consecutive months, and you get $30 of the product of your choice for being a part of that. Plus, I send you a card and a technique instruction card with the technique on it every month. So that's also on my blog. You'll find the information about that. And it's down by my signature on every single day's blog post. You will um, read... Up Right above my signature are a bunch of links, and you'll see my online VIP club. Okay, if you don't have a catalog and you are new to all of this, please pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com. I would be happy to send out catalogs, or if you're local, I will have them available for pickup. That kind of saves me a little bit of money in postage, which is getting very expensive, um, as you all well know, I'm sure. And um, I can get you catalogs. You need to have real catalogs in your hands because I like to curl up with a blanket and sit and look through the catalog. And every time I look through it, no matter how many times I've done it, I always find something that I didn't see before. So that's really fun. All right. I did winners. Don't forget, um, sharing is caring. Share my video. You can click on that share button right now to do that. And I think I am going to flip my phone. So I can show you, I have all the designer series paper from the holiday mini catalog um, ready to show you. And I thought, well, that would be something, hang on, I'm looking for my garbage can. That would be something fun to show you so you can see all of them and decide which one you like the best. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kay. And then I'm going to show you this paper pumpkin kit because it's stinking adorable. All right, you guys, hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please... Um, uh, close your eyes for just a minute. I'm going to have to flip around my phone. And first I have to undo the mirroring. Okay, so did you see me flip there? Yeah. All right. Close your eyes. I'll let you know we can open them back up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was pretty seamless, wasn't it? All right, I'm gonna push this. I like to make sure that's kind of straight on my table so it doesn't make you guys dizzy. You can open your eyes now, I did pretty good. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness, I've had enough with the technical difficulties tonight. There we go. Okay, so here is the um, Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper and this was recently something that we did at my team meeting. Um, I printed out all these sheets with all of the coordinating colors and the item code and all that good stuff on it. And then at my team meeting, everybody got to put a square of coordinating colored cardstock behind it. And then um, the designer series paper. So this is one side and this is the other side. This is one side and the other side, one side and the other side. And this is just a great way for me to um, be able to share this when I go to my stamping events or when I'm on screen like this, I can say, oh, look at the toil and trouble. You guys can see all of it. These outside squares are three and a quarter inches. The inside ones are cut at three by three and then they're just cut down the middle at a diagonal. There's our toil and trouble. Here's our country lane designer series paper. And this is where this is coming from in the country lane. So that's beautiful. And I'm forgetting to look at comments, you guys. So if um, if I missed a question, please ask it again. I need to be more uh, mindful of that. It's hard to do this and that and think and look at <laughs> look at comments. <laughs> okay. Um, here is our frosted floral specialty designer series paper, and I hope you can see this in the camera. But this has a um, pearlescent. Um, finish on it 
and it's just gorgeous. It does look frosted. Beautiful, beautiful paper. And again, all of these are coming from the Holiday Mini Catalog. This is our Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper, and it's got that country feel to it, don't you think? I love this white wood um, design. Very pretty. And some very classic plaids and stripes. And then we've got the All is Bright Designer Series paper. I'll be sharing a card soon using this paper because it is delicious. Absolutely gorgeous real life images. And then we have, oh, this is real life too. It's like a bunch of bulbs that they shot a photo of and put onto paper. But then we have some other papers that are um, more designs, created designs. So that's really pretty. Yeah, I do need a secretary, Brenda, right? And look at this gorgeous paper. This is a specialty paper. Our specialty paper is $14. And you get two sheets of this, double-sided, 12 by 12s. And this has copper and gold in it. It's so, so pretty. Joyous Noel. Then we have Santa's Workshop, which I can't hardly wait to break out. I haven't used this yet because I've been concentrating on fall, but holy cow, this paper is just the cutest with these cute little images in here of these elves and the snowmen. And then you've got your classic Christmas designs on the opposite side. So um, one thing that I love about our double-sided paper is you can do half of your card in this side and then cut it and do the other portion of the bottom in the other side and it's going to color coordinate so 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 pretty and this is just adorable oh and this is flocked I almost forgot can you see that these snowflakes are raised velvety um let's see oh and the little crown on this guy same thing and the stripes here and these stripes it's flocked so that makes for um a beautiful element to your cards and scrapbook pages and little treat favors. Super cute. All right, one thing I wanted to tell you about the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. I was not aware of this, and one of you guys shared this information with me. So when you turn over this paper with the witches on it, you know, we've got a framelit that goes with the witches. You can cut the witches out. This little framelit right here. When you turn this paper over backwards and hold it up to the light, you can actually cut out more of these witches than what I told you last time from the back side of the paper. So this die will cut them out from the front, some of them, and others from the back. And I guess that animal um, outing stamp set, the same with the giraffe. You can turn the paper over and hold it up to the light and match up that framelit and cut the giraffes out from the back side so that you have a giraffe going this way and a giraffe going that way. And I didn't even know that, so that was really cool. I was pretty happy to find out that little tidbit of information. Okay, now... I'm going to, whoops, hang on, things are falling. Um, I'm going to show you this paper pumpkin kit. It comes with um, a really cute little ad about our new take your pick tool. This tool is awesome. It's got a little putty end for picking up little sequins and, and little things that stick right to that putty end. It also comes with a refill on it, and I really don't think that you're going to use these up very quickly. Like, it's going to take a long time to use these up. And then we have this that's like a spatula. You can pick up your rhinestones and stuff. It also takes the backing off dimensionals. And, oh, you got to turn it. It has a pretty, like, severe pokey tool in it. Like, you could use this as a weapon if you needed one. <laughs> yeah. And then it also has... A small and a large end stylus for scoring or whatever else you may need to do with that. So um, it comes with all this stuff and a refill on the putty end. And this is $10. So it's a very cool new tool. And I've got it right over here in my um, little cup of tools that I keep right by my desk because I use those frequently. Okay, here we go. Here is the paper pumpkin kit for this month. And let me hold this up to some white paper so you can see the stamp set. Each month, Paper Pumpkin comes with a very nice stamp set. And this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stamps. 
16 stamps in here. And this kit is like, I don't know, $20. Um, so awesome, awesome little Halloween stamp set. Love this. And then here's the direction sheet that comes with each kit. And this particular kit makes these little treat bags. And aren't they just adorable? And then you see are the directions. And Stampin' Up! puts out a video that you can also watch on their YouTube channel showing how to make these, but you get the written directions with it. And let's take a look at what's in here. We have some self-adhesive die cuts. Now these are very high quality stickers that pop right out of here. Uh, hang on, is that? Oh, no, this is a die cut that you have to glue down. Sorry about that. Lots of times they are self-adhesive. Look at these cute little ghosts. Aren't they adorable? And then we have pumpkins. And then we have the silver backing or champagne colored. I don't know for sure which one that is. Pumpkins and dots. And then we have some die cut words here. Let me see. I think these are stickers. Yep, these ones, self-adhesive self stickers. And then we have the eek in um, gorgeous grape, some spooky, some gorgeous grape die cut tags, some pumpkin pie die cut tags, some more tags, okay, and then it comes with um, mini glue dots, some fun black and silver baker's twine, a basic gray ink spot. Each kit comes with one or two ink spots, so that's cool. You can collect a whole bunch of them. These are nice for also using on your Stamparatus to ink up little areas instead of having that giant ink pad. These are super nice for that. Um, these are a pack of dimensionals. And then here's all the little treat bags and the little layers for you to, I assume, do some stamping on. I haven't done this kit yet, so I'm not sure exactly what's happening with it. But look at this. These are, let me grab my white piece of paper here again. These little bags have spider webs all over them. How cute is that? So anyways, that's our paper pumpkin kit for September. And Stampin' Up! is doing a special thing where you can actually subscribe. You have to be a subscriber to order refills or paper pumpkin kits. And once you subscribe, and I did just put the link for my paper pumpkin store on this page this Facebook page. So if you, once we're done with our live, if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see an ad for this paper pumpkin. And there's a link in there that you can click on to go to my store if you'd like to become a subscriber. Then tonight at midnight, if you wanna stay up, or tomorrow morning, you can um, go on there and order this kit. These usually sell out pretty fast, so I can't make any guarantees to anybody. I just want you to know that. But um, you can get this kit, or if you already have the kit, you can get refills for it from Stampin' Up! So that's pretty cool. And Lori says she loves the Stamparatus. Oh my gosh, I do too. And Brenda's saying paper pumpkin kit is so reasonable. It really is, Brenda, for $20 or $21, whatever it costs. Um, I absolutely love it and I love traveling with it. Like if I'm going to go to my mom's house or we're going to go camping, you can just grab your scissors and your glue and your kit and everything is in here. Um, you, you need a block, but your first, your very first kit that you get even comes with a block that you can then use for um, subsequent kits. And I just grab all this and I can take it with me and make up all my paper pumpkin projects. So it's pretty cool. Kathy says she ordered two this month. Um, yeah, good for you because she usually misses out on the refills. They do sell. The refills sell really fast. So, all right, you guys, let's get on to our stamping. What are you guys drinking tonight? What is in your cup? I have, um, what do I drink? Raspberry lemonade? Yeah. <laughs> Crystal light raspberry lemonade. And my gorgeous anniversary cup, if my husband is still watching, which I'm sure he's not, he just likes to come on in the beginning and give me a hard time. He bought this cup for me for my anniversary, for our anniversary. So that was pretty sweet. And I do love it. All right, here we go. Um, first thing I'm going to do is show you the Halloween treat favors. And we are going to be using the envelope punch board. Who has an envelope punch board? Let me know if you have an envelope punch board because I love mine. And we're also going to be using some tear and tape. 
and I've got Memento ink out here, but I've got another one here. I have a whole bunch of Memento ink pads because when I put on big um, events, I need lots of them. All right, so I've got many different samples to show you with this treat project. So I thought that was really fun because once I started making them, I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a problem. All right, we are going to be using some of our black foil sheets and these are found in the holiday mini catalog and they are, this is like our silver and our gold and our champagne. Do we have another color? I can't remember. Oh, copper. These are awesome. We're gonna be using those and a piece of our Toil and Trouble designer series paper. And then I've just got a scrap here and another scrap of lemon lime twist because I love the lemon lime twist with the ghosts. I just think that's a really pretty uh, combination. And let's see, I need to get a ruler out because I made this last week and when I make stuff ahead of time, um, it gets a little sketchy on my memory. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna tell you the truth. Usually when I do Facebook Live, I've made the stuff that day, and so it's still really fresh in my head, but I'll tell you what, this medication that I take, um, it really messes with my memory, so my short-term memory is just, just horrible. All right, let me see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, I also need my, here it is, my Starburst Punch, and I love that my punch rack is right over to the side here so that I can reach it easily. We're going to do a little bit of stamping and I'm going to start here. Make sure I'm on the screen because I know sometimes I get too low you guys and then you just holler at me, Kelly move your stuff up um, because this only shows so much of my desktop which can be kind of frustrating. All right here comes, oh here's my stamps, good. <laughs> I was organized before I left. All right so we're going to do a little ghost and then I'm going to take, and notice I wrote scrap on here so I knew what I was doing. Well, for the most part, <laughs> you never know. And then I'm gonna take my Happy Halloween stamp from the, um, by the way, this is the Cauldron Bubble stamp set bundle. And hang on, I'm fixing my screen over here because things went away from me. I need to make this bigger. There we go, okay. All right, um, I'm going to, did you see where my ink pad went? Oh, I covered it up, <laughs> sorry, Ooh, squirrel. All right, I'm gonna take this and I kind of want this Happy Halloween to come down in here so that it's on some of the lighter stripes. And then I'm gonna bring in my one and three quarter inch circle punch, or you can use your layering circles, whatever works for you, whatever you have, your layering circle dies work fine. But I'm just gonna punch this out and then I'm going to grab my Starburst punch and punch out a black foil circle. And this is for layering behind this little deal. All right, and where's my tape runner? I find that the tape runners stick good or better to the foil paper because it's kind of, you know, um, a non-porous, shiny type surface. And so I use that in place of my liquid glue that I use for almost everything, just so you know why I'm doing that. I like to let you know that. And then we're gonna grab some dimensionals. Did I miss any questions, you guys? Who was outside? Carol says she was late because she was pulling trees. Well, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do that. I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals on the back here and we're just gonna set this aside for a second. Then there is a framelit inside the um, cauldron framelits of the little ghost and we need to die cut this, okay? And of course, you know, through the magic of TV, yes indeed, I have that done. Here's that little spider web I was talking about. I haven't even used that yet, and I've made so many cute cards with this bundle. Okay, so I've got that cut out, and I'm also going to put a dimensional on the back of my ghost because, well, why wouldn't you, right? Of course your ghost needs a dimensional. 
everything's cuter with dimension. Okay, so my little ghost is gonna go right there. Isn't that cute already? Yeah. All right. Now, this sheet is, let's see, did I? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side of my cheat sheet. This is five and a half by four and a half. So make sure it's four and a half, not four and a quarter, you guys, because I kind of messed up one of them that I made because I cut it, you know, five and a half by four and a quarter. That's a standard quarter sheet of cardstock, but it's actually five and a half by four and a half. Remember, um, all of these dimensions are going to be posted on my blog, which you can find right here. On Tuesday, I always post the projects from Facebook Live on my blog on Tuesday. And I think what I may start do doing is putting the dimensions for the projects that I make in the description above my Facebook vid video once we're done. Because I know you guys want this, right? Is that a good plan? Would that be helpful for everybody? Let me know because... Okay, I'm getting lots of hearts, okay? Um, because I know you guys, if you're watching me, like you might get done watching me and go, I wanna make some of those, and then you can't remember and you have to go back and watch the video. And once I'm done with my Facebook Live, I post it to my Facebook page. You can go in there and click on the play button and you can move it back and forth. You can fast forward and rewind and pause it so you can get all those dimensions. But I, I would like to be a little more helpful than that, I think. So I'm nice like that, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so on the long end of my ghost paper, well, first of all, I do this on the edge of my desk, but since you can't see the edge of my desk, I'm going to kind of prop this up here. Pretend this is the edge of my desk. I'm going to, oh, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to pull my paper so that it kind of curls it a little bit, okay? So I'm going to do this on the edge of my desk. And you want to do that so I... Pulled it on the edge of my desk like this and pulled it on the edge of my desk like that. You see how it's curling it? This just makes it a little easier to deal with in what we're going to do with it. So I am going to take my tear and tape and we're going to put that right down the long edge of our layer. I want to get this as close to the edge as I can. And the great thing about tear and tape is you just tear it. Oh, love this stuff. Okay, and then where did my, here comes my tool. And then you're going to push down that tear and tape. And then you're going to kind of pick this up. Now, I'm assuming a lot of you have this envelope punch board. If you don't, oh, it's a must have. Like, it's one of those staple things that you put on your wish list. Get it for Christmas. I just had a recent, I had a lady... Um, reach out to me, complete stranger. We're not strangers anymore, of course. But um, her mother watches me, and she ordered a $50 gift certificate for her mom for her birthday. So don't forget, when people are asking you, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? You have some type of, of an event coming up that people want to buy you gifts. You can have them call me and or email me and say I'd like to get a gift certificate for $20 or $10 or $50 or $100 or whatever and I will um, PayPal invoice them they pay it or they can send me a check and I'll send off the gift certificate it's a win-win for you believe me all right so now I'm going to just kind of push this in a little bit and I'm kind of making sure that this part is straight and in the middle and then I'm going to fold over this end, okay? So now what we've got here is a tube, right? I'm gonna push this down so that my seam is in the middle here. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. Oh, Brenda. Thank you so much. Brenda says, yep, you are nice in many ways. Very helpful. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. All right, now we're gonna put this in our envelope punch board and we're gonna push this in and bring it up to the one inch mark. There's a ruler right here. So I'm gonna fold it down push it into one inch, and then I'm gonna punch. And this is what it does, okay? So we're gonna do that on both sides. I just turned it over and we're gonna punch again at one inch. There we go, so now we have this. Now, whoops, we're gonna turn this around and do the other end the same exact way. Push it into one inch, turn it over, and push it in to one inch. 
All right, let me get this out of the way. Oh, before I do, I have to show you guys something. One of the things that I love about my um, envelope punch board, let me grab a scrap of cardstock here, is that there's also a corner rounder on the other side over here, and it is one of the nicest corner rounders. Look at perfect every time. I love the corner rounder. So you get the envelope punch board and the corner rounder. And then I'm going to show you how to make an envelope as soon as we're done with the next card um, using the country home bundle. So just, well, it's not a bundle, the stamp set. So just hang tight and I will show you how to make an envelope besides this cute little treat holder. Now, here's what I'm going to do with this. I, okay, so funny story. I bought this big bag of um, Halloween candy and I left for the weekend and I come home and it is dumped out on the other side of my desk over here and all that is left is, where's my bag of candy? All that's left is the Reese's Peanut Butter Bars and the Almond Joys. Why? Because my husband doesn't like those as much as he likes the Hershey's Chocolate Bars and the Kit Kat. So all of those are gone out of my bag and I bought this bag to do stamping treats with, okay? Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I do eat some of these sometimes, but for the most part, it's to make little treat favors for Halloween. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You took all of my Kit Kats and my Hershey bars. That's what I need for this treat holder tonight. And then I went in the um, refrigerator to get something to eat before I came on. And there was a bunch of these in there. So he took them all out of my bag and hid them in the refrigerator and I found them. So I I grabbed these two back so I could show you this tonight. I'm like, are you kidding me? He comes in here all the time because he knows I have a stash of candy. And, and I do usually have a stash of candy, but it's for stamping purposes to put in bags and put tags on and for making videos and cute things and whatever. It's not just because I need a stash of candy in here to eat because I don't eat much of it, but I do love Almond Joy, so just know that. <laughs> okay, so here's our little treat favor. These Kit Kats that are little Halloween treats fit in here perfectly, as do the little Hershey bars. So that's why, whoops, <laughs> that's why I bought these because I needed them for my project. Okay, I'm going to put the Kit Kat, Kit Kat bar in here. And then, have you guys seen, if you placed an order with me, you just got a card, a thank you card in the mail made with this amazing glittered ribbon. This is called Glittered Organdy Ribbon. It's 3 eighths of an inch wide. You get 10 yards of it. And I hope you can see how gorgeous. It's got glitter on it. It's glitter is like stuck to it or sprayed on it or something. I do not know. So, yeah. Lisa says, um, Aunt Joyce, what well, I was thinking of you. Oh, Aunt Joyce is on here. Hi, Joyce. You know what, Lisa? This is terrible. But someday I'm going to meet Aunt Joyce. How about that? I have never met her. I have hunted with her husband for years and I have never met her. So someday I'm going to meet Aunt Joyce. That would be nice. I would like that. Okay, I'm going to take this ribbon. And the reason why we punched out these little divots on the sides of this and wasn't that simple, not too much went into that, did it? I'm going to tie this ribbon on here. And these are going to be from my special neighborhood kids, whoops, um, like my kids across the street, the neighbors across the street, I know them, they come over, Eva just came over last week and brought me a half a cup of sugar so I could finish my chocolate chip cookie bars, <laughs> but um, so these are for the kids that I know, also if you wanted to and you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is a great way to get your name out, and hang on and I'll show you how you can do that. Okay, so here, let me grab my big scissors. Here's one end. And then you're gonna just take this and do the other end and tie that in a bow. I can't wait to show you all the ones that I made. Ah, I was on a roll that day. Sometimes, you guys, I get started on stuff and I just, can't, all the ideas just fly into my head. Like, I can't stop myself. It's, it may be a problem. <laughs> it's a disease. Yeah, it's a disease I'll take, right? Okay, there we go. Already super cute, right? Okay, 
Then we're gonna take this little devil, my chubby little ghost that I love, and look at this. Lisa says, oh, Batman, we have an addiction. Yeah, we do, it's a little scary. Lisa says Aunt Joyce is the best. And I know, Lisa, that's all I've heard about her is she's fabulous. So I told Steve, too, I want him to make a lunch with Lynn and Joyce and me and him so that I can meet her. Look at that. What do you guys think? Super cute? Yeah. Okay, you want to see the rest of them that I made? Hang on. Let me put the stamps away. Where did the Happy Halloween go? Here it is. I don't want to lose anything because that's a nightmare. And here comes the rest of them. Okay. We've got this one. Isn't it super cute? This uses the little frogs. And it's the same designer series paper. I stamped Happy Halloween on a Granny Apple Green um, Starburst Punch Out image. Um, in Granny Apple Green. So I did Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween. I just stamped it on there a bunch of times. This uses the die cut hat and also the paper that has all the hats on it right here. This is just filled with witch's hats. So that's what I did here and I used the same glittered ribbon. Okay. And then the next one uses the hat paper and then we have some small scallop punches. Let's see, I used the one and three eighths inch, inch scallop punch here and probably one and a quarter um, circle punch and stamped the trick or treat from this bundle and the frog and colored the frog in with blends. And again with the glitter ribbon. Okay, I know, I went crazy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Then I got this one, and this one uses the star paper, and I stamped and die cut and colored in a broom from the dies. We've got this broom here. We've also got the cat that I stamped and colored in and the frog, and these all have dies to cut them out. And then I used um, our layering circle scallop and the black foil paper and glued this right on there. And then this is that braided trim that's in the holiday mini catalog by the Country Home Stamp set, I think. But I tied that around here to go with the whole theme. I thought the braided trim and a broom, that kind of went together, right? I think it went together, yeah. Okay, so, and for those of you, if Halloween is not your thing, because I know we've got people who don't do Halloween, I brought in, let me find the paper for this. Hang on, I wanna show you, here we go. I have the Country Lane Designer Series paper and here's what I made with that. I've got our eighth inch um, ribbon here that I tied around it. This is the pumpkin paper and then I stamped from the Country Home Stamp Set, I stamped the So Grateful for Someone Like You in My Life. And again, this has a Kit Kat in it. It doesn't have to be about Halloween if Halloween is not your thing. Now, I said that I was going to save these and give them to some special kids, right? But the other thing that you could do if you're a demonstrator is you could take and you could add your business card with some... Um, glue or whatever to the back of this little piece you could add your business card right back here and you can hand these out you could give this to your bank teller you could give it to the um, clerk at the grocery store you could give these to anybody and tell them to have a great day and then you can say if you know somebody who is into stamping or scrapbooking if you're not could you please pass my business card along to them they're getting a gift and you're asking for a little favor. This is a great way to get new customers. So <laughs> there's my little um, team plug. I hope my team is listening tonight. Great idea. And then I have one more that I made. And again, the Country Home Stamp Set. And I use Early Espresso with the layering circles, scallop, and a circle punch. I stamped the flower image, which is this flower image right here. I stamped that in crushed curry and then stamped over it with early espresso ink and punched it out. And then this, let me show you what I did there. This is kind of cool. I took our burlap ribbon and I 
peeled, I cut it and then peeled all of these off. So I cut out a length of it and then I peeled them apart and put them back together and tied them up. And it reminds me of a scarecrow, <laughs> you know, like the straw or whatever coming out of their arms and feet and shirt and all that good stuff. But, um, and then I tied that around this in a bow and again, put some candy in there that I can attach my business card to and hand out to people. So great, great little gift ideas, whether you're giving them to trick or treaters or handing, handing them out to people um, that do nice things for you. If you have a, a clerk at a store who really went out of their way to help you and be nice to you, this is a nice little gift to keep in your purse and give to them. So um, good idea. Again, I will have all these measurements on my blog on Tuesday and I'll post them in the description of this Facebook Live so that you guys can make some treat favors tonight without too much hassle looking for all the information, right? Okay, did I miss any questions? Um, I love the cotton on the Country Lane paper too. It's so, so, it's very trendy right now. Like I posted a picture, I was at a store and there was, you could buy cotton in a, in a, like a floral arrangement. And I took a picture with it because I thought, oh, cotton is hot. Stampin' Up! is always on top of the hot things, believe me. We, um, we stay with the trends. Okay. My next project is with the Country Home Stamp Set. This is the stamp set that Jannie from Tomahawk won tonight. So um, one of my very favorites out of this catalog. And it goes along with the Country Lane Designer Series paper. There's a whole suite of products that go with this. Okay, I am going to get some of this stuff out of here so I can keep moving along here. We are going to use, I think that's Smoky Slate and Whisper White and some of our galvanized metallic paper. I've got a scrap of Smoky Slate. And let me keep getting all this stuff out. Oh, and I don't have my little dimension. My dimen oh, I don't need any dimensions for this one. That's why. Okay, we're also going to be using this beautiful reversible ribbon. I hope you can see this in the camera. One side is a like Mary Merlot. The other side has this gorgeous gold sheen to it. It is so, so pretty. This again is in the holiday catalog. And I was going to go online. Does, does any of my demonstrator friends know, is there still Fast Fuse available on our clearance rack? If you guys did not look at the clearance rack yet, we had a refresh on it last week, which means a bunch of people, or a bunch of people, Stampin' Up! added a bunch of um, new items to the clearance rack. And one of the items they had on there were Fast Fuse with the dispense, dispenser and the refills for dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, like $3.20 for a refill. And it used to be, gosh, I think $10. So, yeah. Get yourself some Fast fuse, fuse if it's still available. It was a really good deal. Okay, here I come. Hang on, let me move some of this. Oh, and by the way, if you're placing orders on my online store, you want to use this host code. If your order's under $150, that's how I'm able to give out all these free prizes is by people using the host code for me. I really appreciate that. If your order's over $150, you um, don't want to use the code. You'll still get some special perks from me, just like the people who are under $150, but you'll get your own Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up! So I want you to get those rewards. Anywho, all right, um, we are going to come in. I've got basic gray ink here, and I'm going to take, uh, nope, 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 wrong. Hang on, where did my ink pad? Here's my... I need, I still need this ink pad. Memento. I am going to use Memento ink and these flowers with the cotton in them. And I'm going to just start in the middle here. Oops, let me move this out of the way. And then I'm just going to drop it down a little bit and then maybe tilt it a little bit. So I've got kind of three different images in here, right? Okay, so I've got that done then I'm going to put the greeting in here and I'm also going to use or I should say I'm going to use the basic gray from my greeting 
So grateful for someone like you in my life. There we go. All right, this will get colored in with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. And I've got mm, light cherry cobbler here. This is just a really nice way to doll up the inside of your card. And it's easy because there's just a few little flowers in here that you need to color, okay? All right, um, I'm just gonna do a few of these little flowers. This is easy peasy. Even for those of you who don't like to color, you can, you can do this much. I know there are people that don't like to color. And I have to, I, I'm, I'm usually in a mood to color. And that's when I'll bring out my coloring stamp sets. And then I've got um, Dark Mango Melody here for these. Does anybody know what these images are called? I don't know what those are, but they're really cool. And you get them in dried floral arrangements. Who knows what they are? Yeah, Sharon, you gotta have the stamp set. You're welcome. <laughs> It is amazing. I'm not even going to kid you there. Okay, and then I'm going to come in, and this one is Dark Old Olive. And then I'm just going to come in and color these leaves. And this is just going to be so pretty when whoever you send this to or give this to opens it up. The inside is going to be just as pretty as the front, and I love that. Remember, remember what I say, you guys? The party should not be over when you open a card. <laughs> there should be more party on the inside. And I see I missed a berry. Hang on, that'll drive me crazy if I don't get the berry colored in here. All right, and then I see I missed one little leaf down here. Nobody would know, but of course me, and it's gonna make me crazy. Okay, so here's our inside. I'm going to put this right inside my card, maybe. I did poke this out before I came on live, but I think because it's been sitting there, it got, got stuck again. There we go. Inside of our card. Ooh, I shouldn't have done this yet. Don't ever glue things together until you're finished. That's just a really good rule of thumb because this could go, this could go wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close up my basic gray here for a minute. And my memento. I'm gonna come in with Smoky Slate. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> They're seed pods, Barbara says. That's what those, um, the round things are here, seed pods. Well, they're really cool and I like them. Aranda says they're lotus root. Okay, there you go, now we know what they are. Okay, now I'm gonna take the thank simply thankful for all the good things. And I'm going to start right in the middle. And this is what I like to do. I am making my own background paper. So I'm starting right in the middle and then I'm gonna go off to the side and off to the side. Oh, that was a little crooked and that'll happen. Don't lose your mind over it. If somebody complains about something being crooked on your card, you don't give them another card, okay? <laughs> they don't deserve one. <laughs> I have never had anybody complain about a card that I gave them. So I'm just gonna keep stamping this and making my own designer series paper. And I love to do this, especially with big funky fonts like this. I love funky fonts. And this is just a great way. Look at that, isn't that cool? It's kind of cool, right? I think it's cool. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in um, the ribbon and my, uh, what's this called? Burlap. And I'm going to do a piece about this long. And how long is that? Let me measure it for you. It is about almost four inches. So we've got almost four inches here. And then I'm going to grab a piece of this reversible ribbon, and I want that to go almost all the way across the whole card front here. So this is where the fast fuse comes in. Let me get rid of this, because I know it's making you guys nervous. I can feel it coming through the airways. <laughs> Kelly, close the ink pad before you wreck things. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go with the fast fuse. Now, 
Fast Fuse is one of these products that you don't push too hard on the applicator. I was pushing too hard when I was using it when I first got it and it wouldn't come out. You don't give it a lot of pressure. But when you get down here to the end, you give it a check mark, okay? That's what we do with Fast Fuse. And I've laid it right out here. And now I'm going to bring in my ribbon. I've got my ribbon going just off the side a little bit and I'll trim that up in a minute. And then I'm gonna come in here with the Fast Fuse again give it that check mark and then I'm going to put this ribbon on here whoops I gotta pull that back hang on I goofed it up I need it to be on the edge there okay that's perfect and I want it to kind of be up on my reversible ribbon so there we go all right now I'm going to come in from this side and I'm gonna trim my ribbon off so we don't want that ugly edge sticking out there, right? Okay, there we go. Cool, so far, right? Okay, where'd those scraps go? Here they are. Okay, for the rest of our card, I have stays on ink here, and I'm going to bring in the milk carton. Did I even show this to you guys? Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I'm using the milk carton and the cotton floral arrangement down here. And... Yes, Sharon was nervous with the open ink pad. I totally understand. <laughs> so I'm gonna stamp my milk carton on this galvanized metallic paper. And you have to use stays on ink because this is a non-porous paper and other inks just won't dry. It, it, they just won't. And then people always ask me, how do you clean stays on off your stamps? Well, guess what, I don't care. Um, the stamp is used. There's nothing left on here. It can go in any color now. But um, I had a video <clears throat> where I used um, our stays on cleaner to get the ink stays on ink off of my Stamparatus cutting plates, and um, people kind of were freaking out about that. <coughs> Excuse me. They said it'll it'll make your plates milky and it will ruin them and da da da. Um, and while I appreciate comments because I don't know everything. I am not a know-it-all. Um, I don't care if my plates on my Stamparatus are milky. You can still see through them. And that particular tool is a workhorse for me. Like that it stays pristine is not important to me. That it works, that's what I like. And then cleaning stamps, they told me cleaning stamps with stays on cleaner, especially your photopolymer, you should then wash them in soapy water and rinse them because I guess the stays on cleaner is really hard on them. I've been doing that for a long time and I've never had any problem with my um, photopolymer. So, you know, but just there you have it. You can do whatever you want. It's your stamp. You can use stays on cleaner on it with it or not. You know, it's completely up to you, but that's how I roll with it. All right, now I'm coming in here with Memento ink and I'm going to stamp again those same flowers that we put on the inside of our card right here. Yay! And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna color these in. Again, I'm coming in with the same colors. I've got light cherry cobbler to color this flower in. And then these little berry things. Okay, so I already forgot what these were called. Something root. Dang it. See, I told you, my memory is terrible. Some kind of root or seed pods. The seed pods I remembered, but the root one, not so much. I love them, whatever they're called. And this is, again, the Dark Mango Melody. This is a brand new color in the Holiday Mini Catalog. We have several new colors of Stampin' Blends. I just had one of my customers order all the new colors the other day. And then I've got my Dark Old Olive. And I'm just coming in to color these leaves. And then I've got a little surprise for this floral. These floral images. A little something extra. So hang on. And you can see how cool I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I am pretty cool. <laughs> Let's not get full of ourselves, right? <laughs> okay, then I have our Stampin' Chalk marker. 
And because I stamped these flowers, I did this on purpose, I stamped these flowers on smoky slate so that I could use the stamp and chalk marker to make the cotton white. How cool is that? Lotus pod. Ginger, thank you so much. It's, these are called lotus pods. Gosh, you think I'll remember that now? I should put a little note on the stamp set so that I don't forget that. Lotus pod. Okay, I got all that. Now, let me show you how, how cool this is. Can you see that? Yeah, isn't that a nifty idea? That's what I thought. Does my screen, does my surface look dark? It looks dark on my screen. I don't know exactly what that's all about. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, so now what am I going to do with this? Oh, here's my scissors. And you're like, really, Kelly? You're going to cut out all those tiny little flowers? Watch this. This is super easy. We don't have framelits for this. So I just go right around the outside. You don't have to get too weird about it. <laughs> weird about it. Don't get too weird about cutting the flowers. But here's the deal. I'll tell you in just a second when I put this on the card front why this works so well. To just leave these big borders around my flower images. And this will give you a great tip for designing your own cards using this kind of technique. Oops, hang on, it's getting in my way. Did you guys see I broke my nail? That just happened before I came on live. I'm really disgusted because I don't know what I did to break it. Like I wasn't doing anything strenuous, like building my new office. I broke a couple nails when I was doing that. So I don't know why that happened, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, so I've got that all cut out. You can see that that took me very little time and I did not get too fussy with it. Then I'm going to take my little melt carton, and this also is super easy to cut out. There's just not much to it. You don't have to get too crazy with this. I am cutting closer to the edge on this one. But again, it's, it's not too detailed that you're going to have too much trouble with it. Oh, I'm starting to get very warm. <laughs> Who else gets warm? at a moment's notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that. Okay, here's my milk carton. Okay. And now, where did our card go? Right here. I'm going to take a little piece of tape and I'm going to tape this onto the back of my milk carton. So, just like this. And before we do anything else... Let's see how that looks. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Look at I can see the end there. We don't like that. There we go. I want to make sure that my flowers are touching my milk carton. Hang on, I gotta take my little jacket off. I'm starting to whew, glisten a little bit. Yeah, that's my life. Okay. And Sharon says her dog is nipping in her sleep. Yipping. Yeah, my dog used to do that once in a while, too. I don't have a dog anymore, but he used to do that same thing. Okay, so remember that little tip I was going to tell you on why this works so well, To Oh, I'm going to put one more dimensional in here, right in the middle. Give it a little support where I taped that onto my milk can. But I'm going to put this right in here. Are you guys, like, loving this card? I was pretty proud of it. Okay, so here's our beautiful card. We have a couple more things to do. But the reason why this looks fine, cutting it out not real detailed around these flowers, is because I use the same color cardstock here as I use to stamp my image on. So it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. You don't even really notice the cut lines. Let's say I stamped this on white cardstock and colored it and then cut it out and put it on a different colored background, you would really notice these cut edges. But you don't because I use Smoky Slate and Smoky Slate. So yay, there's a tip. All right, I have, let's see. Here's my linen thread. I've got a little deal to do with this. Hang on, I gotta find my bow maker. Hey, you guys, I have lots of people who ask me about these bow makers. This is called a bow jig. And my friend Denise, her husband makes these. And they are for stampers. And if you would like to get a hold of one, please email me. Don't leave me a message on Facebook. Don't leave me a message in my business page. 
just throw an email at me. My email is kelly at estampabub.com because I need your email address to forward to my friend Denise so that she can contact you about getting a bow jig. And she will answer all your questions because she is absolutely lovely. <laughs> so here is a triple bow. These are perfect every single time. Love, love, love this thing. And I'm just going to kind of smush them around a little bit so that they, you know, have a little more mm, substance definition, a little bigger. And then I need my mini glue dots. And I'm going to take my take your pick tool and I'm going to put that right on the top of my milk can. And that's where this linen thread bow is going to go because it just needed that little something, don't you think? Just needed that little something. Still not done. These are our new frosted and clear epoxy shapes and they are, let me grab my white paper again here. These are so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. These are clear. Um, they actually look silver. And then these are frosted. And can you see how beautiful they are? Gilmore, thank you. Thank you for thanking me for the tip. Yes, it, it is. It's um, something you don't really think about with the same color. But it's a thing. <laughs> okay, so on the original card I made, I used the clear... Um, shapes. So on this one, I'm going to try it with the frosted because I think these are beautiful too. And again, take your pick tool is your perfect little friend for doing stuff like this. And I'm just going to add three of these because you should always add these little tiny embellishments in uneven numbers. So odd numbers. So I'm going to put three on here and maybe I'll just put one right over there. Okay, you guys. <gasps> what do you think? Love, love, love. Absolutely love this. And then here's the one that used the clear. This is my um, original sample that I made. And you can see that my thanks for all the good things is a little more uniform than it is here. But you know what? If you never saw this card, you wouldn't even know that, right? So super, super fun. Country Home Stamp Set is the bomb. The bomb. All right, what time is it getting to be? I need to make an envelope yet. So let me pick up some of this stuff. Um, let me get some of this out of the way here. I'm gonna show the envelope, and then I have some swap cards to show you guys. So make sure you hang around until the end. You're gonna wanna see those. But I need to clean up this mess a little bit so that I can keep bringing some more stuff back. All right, don't forget to share my video if you haven't done that. Sharing is caring. <laughs> I love saying that. Don't forget to share the video. Okay. And who has the take your pick tool? Who has this already? I need to get more of them. I only have one because I wanted to try it out first to see if I really liked it. Sometimes I do that. And then I order a bunch of them so that I can have them available at my card classes and stuff for everybody to use, right? So I always do that. I always check those out first. I check out a product and see if I like it before I order several of them for my customers. So yeah, that's just a, just a good way to go about it. Okay, I am going to show you how to make an envelope now. And this envelope is going to match or go for my pretty little card here because I thought that this outside part of the envelope would match this part of my card and this is the Country Home or Country Lane Designer Series paper. So when you need to make an envelope with the envelope punch board, oh my gosh, this thing is just the best. I can't even tell you how fabulous it is. Hang on, my screen just froze up. I don't know why that happens. Why does it happen? Um, yeah, are we still moving along here? Yep, I'm still getting things on my screen on my phone. But for some reason, hang on a second, I'm going to refresh my screen. Time to take a drink, I'm getting a little parched. Oh my gosh, that's good. And I was really warm. Okay, Facebook Live, here we come. All right, so 
This envelope punch board is fabulous because you measure what size your card is. So it says card size here, and it does a gazillion different card sizes. And then you do what it says next to that card size. So this card size is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I need to cut my card stock at eight by eight, which I did. And then it tells you to start your first score line at three and a half inches. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, just like we put our treat favors in up to one inch and punch them, we have to put this eight by eight piece of cardstock in up to three and a half inches. So we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna push it all the way over to three and a half inches. This is your little scoring tool right here. We're gonna punch and then there's a line right here. Okay, so you're gonna start right up here let me show you that. See, there's this little divot in here and you're just gonna pull this out in that line. So let me do that. So, and now I'm gonna score it. Then you're gonna turn it. You're not gonna worry about the measurements anymore. You're gonna look for that score line and my score line is right here. You're gonna line it up with this little score line thingy bobber that sticks out. I could pick better words, but I'm under the gun. <laughs> and you're gonna score. So I'm gonna score and punch. And again, you're gonna turn it and line it up with that score line with this little pointer deal. Score and punch. And then one more time, my score line is right here and I'm gonna line it up with that. And I'm gonna score and punch. And now, before we're done, we are going to round the corners on our envelope and I'm just putting each corner in here and this gives you the most professional little envelope right hang on we are going to fold the edges up and this big flap goes in the middle like that here is your envelope, and isn't that just the bomb? The card fits in there perfectly, and you're gonna put glue here and here to make your envelope, so I'll do that right now. Okay, let me get this out of here for a second. Right there, and right there. There's our envelope. Our card fits in here just perfect. And then you would put glue on here when you go to seal it. You can write your address, put your return address up here, and you have this cool matching envelope. Isn't that neat? I love this thing. It is fabulous. Okay, I need to, oh, it's 8.30 already. Holy cow, have we had a lot of fun, right? <laughs> that is amazing. So, little recap here. We've got all our little treat favors for Halloween, and if you are not a fan of Halloween, we've got this gorgeous card using the Country Home Stamp Set, and also some treat favors using the Country Lane Designer Series paper, right? Okay, I told you guys that I was going to show you some swap cards because I have some fabulous swap cards I've been sharing with my live, my, not my live, well, it is live events, my stamp groups. So I wanted to show you my display board and I might have to pull my phone off of the stand here. I think I will. So let's just do that. If you get sick, this probably isn't the best idea for you. Hang on. Here we go. Okay, here is some little witch cards. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Kelly. They said great projects for those of you who didn't see that. Okay, what do you guys think? Aren't these cute? There's that little spider web. I love that thing. Here's some more. This is, um, what is this called? Trick or Tweet is the name of the stamp set. It's in the holiday mini catalog. And that's our wonderful bat punch. And there's that gorgeous glitter ribbon, you guys. Here's that trick or tweet with the buffalo check background stamp. That is a must-have also. I should do something with that next week. Here we go. 
That's a great Halloween. And then did you guys see the glitter paper in the holiday mini catalog? It comes in red, green, and this um, orange color. That's where this is coming from. It's a whole big stack of glitter paper. Some more. Ooh, and look, this has got shimmer paint on it. That is gorgeous. And there's that cute elephant from the trick or tweet. And again, the country home. And then I got two more down here to show you. Country home again on both of these. All right, so hang tight. I'm gonna flip you around. Oh look, I'm back and I'm still wearing my crown. <laughs> Okay, you guys, does anybody have any questions that I didn't answer? Hang on, I just pinched my finger in my camera mount. Urgh. And it hurts really bad. <laughs> Sometimes you get injured. Mary says, thank you once again for a fun-filled night. See you in two to three weeks unless I can figure out how to, and I can't read the rest of it. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Thank you so much. Linda said those are gorgeous. They are. They're really nice swap cards, aren't they? I swap with some amazingly talented demonstrators. And that's another fun thing about being on my team is you get invited to do swaps with me. And swaps are just a great way to get all these ideas. Whether you're a business builder and you want to put together a display board like this to use at your stamping events or you're a discount shopper, you just wanna get all these fabulous ideas. Being on my team is a lot of fun. If you are interested in joining my team, our starter kit is $99. You get to choose $125 in product of your choice. And then you get all the benefits, free shipping, you get to be in my, I have a Facebook group for my demonstrators. I have, um, you get my online classes that are $20 or less. You get those free. There's just a lot of benefits to being on my team. Okay, Char says, I look forward to Sunday night with you. I look forward to Sunday night with you too because this is so fun for me. I absolutely love doing this Facebook Live. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, did you get your holiday mini catalog? I had um, one of my customers I sent it out to, and she told me I never got it. So I sent her another one, and here I wrote the wrong address on. I had the wrong building number. Oh, I felt terrible because she was anxiously awaiting it. And I've got Anna from Canada watching. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much. Carol, wonderful Sunday night. Thank you. Um, I can't think of anything else, you guys. I think next week I will be doing um, more fall ideas. I might throw some Christmas in because as stampers, we need to be getting ready for Christmas, right? Yeah, we do. Um, I might throw some of those in. And I've got an entire bin, like with cards stacked in it, of Christmas out of the holiday mini catalog. Lisa, you did not get your mini catalog? Okay, that's not funny. Um, oh, you know what? My husband was reading on his news app that all mail that went out of Menasha Post Office on September 4th is missing. Like, it never got to its destinations. And Lisa, I don't know if I mailed your mini catalog on the 4th or not, but that would explain why you didn't get it. I am going to write myself a note right now. I'm so sorry. But I know I sent one to you. Lisa mini catalog. I will get that out in the mail tomorrow, Lisa. Sorry about that. Ugh. can imagine your anticipation and then it never shows up. That's terrible. You're welcome. You're welcome, Kathy. You're welcome, Amy. Thank you for watching. I think you guys, I think we're done. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you. Please share my video if you haven't already. I always appreciate that. That really helps me out. Go subscribe to a to my blog. And Julie's asking, is that mail problem just there? Yeah, it was just at our Menasha post office. The whole day's worth of mail is missing. And they don't know what happened. And Lisa says that or one of my neighbors. Well, I'll put another one in the mail to you because you have to have it. It's amazing. <laughs> you guys have a fabulous week. Please check back. Yeah, do we have a hoarder, a hoarding postal worker? I hope not. My daughter's um, fiance is a mailman, so I know he's not hoarding any mail. Um, you guys have a wonderful week. I have a blog hop coming up on Thursday.
with the paper pumpkin ladies and gentlemen. We have some gentlemen in there too. And I have our global technique blog hop featuring faux torn edge. Is that what I called it? I think so. Um, coming up on Friday. So, and my Wednesday tip video. I don't even know what that's going to be yet, but it'll be something good. <laughs> You guys have yourself a great week. Thanks so much again for tuning in. I, I tell you, I feel so blessed to have you all here with me on Sunday nights. Bye-bye.